questions. Yeah. Right, Roger and Otis, say something profound to introduce the podcast. Hello. And then we'll, then we'll just be like, Woo! Hello, welcome to the podcast. Um, and uh, this is Otis, and I hope you enjoy the podcast that me and Roger are doing. And uh, make sure you listen to it, because it's going to be very good. So, uh, yeah, this is Otis, and welcome to the podcast. I hope you enjoy that. What do you think, Roger? And Dominic, what do you think, Dominic? I think that's good. I'm, I'm going to do what I said now and just woo. Woo! <laughs> 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 Welcome to the part two of the isolation podcast. This week we were talking about what you're looking forward to and uh, if you find easier or harder. It's time for topical discussion. It's topical discussion. Uh, are your days different? Have you kept a routine? Abby, no. No. What is it? No, your days aren't different or no routine? No routine, it's just no. <laughs> is, it, is that harder, do you think, or are you liking not having a routine? Yeah, I think have, not having a routine is harder. The first couple of weeks, I ended up having to leave the family because I was like, because I wasn't used to any routine, I was like, oh my God, how am I meant to do this? Um, but what I'm worried about is when everything goes back to normal, getting back into a routine. Um, mm. It could be difficult, couldn't it? I think, yeah, other people were saying that as well. Um, have you thought about putting in like a like a routine, like Joe started doing? I could, but, I, but um, there's not enough for me to do at home to be a full routine. Mm. Um, yeah. I see what you mean. Ian, have you got a routine? Um, I've been following the government's guidelines and I'm going out for my daily walk later on. Are you? Yeah. Very nice. Are you doing that at the same time? Um, I, I mix it around a bit. Sometimes it's the morning, sometimes it's the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. We've got another question. What have you found easier or harder during the lockdown so far is a question i'm just going to throw out there um what have you what have you found easier or harder during the lockdown who's got an answer i found it very um strange but i used to it yeah yeah so what what so have you found anything easier since lockdown started? I've been making, um, I've been doing lots of cooking and I've been having roasts at home. No. Nice. Yeah. So have you found cooking's getting a bit easier because you're doing yes. it more? Yes. Cool. And is there anything that's been hard about it? Um, not going to the shop. Cooking. Yeah. Mm. And that trying to... Be- and trying different, new and different things. But I've got used to it. Well done, that's cool. What have you found hard during lockdown? Not able to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. In person. Yeah, I found that hard too, Rebecca. Yeah. And also my boyfriend as well. Oh yeah, do you FaceTime him? Uh, we have been. Yeah? On and off a bit. That's good. At least you've spoken to each other then. Yeah. Have you found anything easier during lockdown, Rebecca? Um, spending time with my rabbit. <laughs> yeah. 
had a bit more been, time. Yeah, a bit more time with her. Been sitting at the back of the house with her yesterday. Nice. And been giving her hugs and kisses. Hmm. I actually brought her in last night in the kitchen. Oh, cool. A mother and daughter bonding. Hmm. <laughs> and did you, um, so what about things like cleaning and cooking and those general day to day things that you, you do? Have you found that easier or harder? It's it's okay. Mum has been making a list of daily chores. She she got me to do dusting yesterday morning. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. And has it been easier to do the chores there than it has been at home, or harder? Because it is a really big house than hmm. my little bungalow. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a bit bigger, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So is it a bit harder or does it just take a bit longer? Takes a bit longer. That's all right. Um, and have you been food shopping at all? Um, well... It has been really hard to do that because we can't go, well, I can't actually go in supermarkets. Uh, okay, so you, you've not you've not been shopping yet? No, Mum's doing a food shop later. Okay. I I actually can't go because there's only one. They're letting one person to go in the supermarket. Yeah, that's right. Because they've got security now, so sh- sh- it's just ridiculous because of this. Uh, this virus things going around yeah i'm not not even allowed to go into morrison's i have to stay outside playing on my ipad ah uh, rubbish what have you found easier or harder um i have found it really difficult seeing people and having to keep the two Eaters and not give anyone a hug. I really kind of miss miss that. I I found going shopping um, to be quite a horrible experience. I hate it because so many people have kind of looked at you and kind of judged you before even doing anything or like. And it's, it's Emma said she completely hates it. And I've sort of, you know, I've pulled up and I still just pop in and go and do, go and grab something. And she's like, no. So it's kind of had a, a negative effect on some people in respect that they don't want to go in because they might, you know, you don't know what you're going to come across and like are gonna people going to be horrible? And You feel um, like you're going to be judged, Emma, is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. There's either loads of people or nobody there, and there's either quite a lot of stock or nothing at all because it depends when the delivery was, what they've put out. I think it's all just a bit strange. And And I've sort of forgotten things because they change which way you can go. and Yeah. It completely thrown me. And I, I I had that problem when I went to Tesco the other day. I was going the wrong way down an aisle and I was like, I don't understand. If both aisles are going that way 
how am I yeah. meant to loop and do like a zigzag? Like I know I oh I couldn't understand the logic, so I just did what I wanted to do, and kept my distance. Run and kind of go. <laughs> down Essentially, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just like oh okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> Even my mum had to queue out marathons because the security is actually letting one person to go in yeah, when they finish paying. That person needs to come out and let the other person to go in, pay out, that kind of thing. Yeah. Dominic, you put your hand up. I did. Um, one of the things that I found most difficult is exercising. It's been bothering me quite a lot. Yeah. Um, not because it's not possible, but because it's not what I'm used to doing. I, I like a gym, and this isn't this isn't a gym. There there is no gyms. No. Also, I'm used to having friends around and stuff for dinner, so I've struggled to adjust how much I cook. Oh. So I've been cooking and then having the same meal for like three days because. I've cooked for uh, three people, four people, rather than one person. Yeah. Um, mm. What else? I've, I've totally given up putting away clothes. <laughs> yeah? Because there's no one here. So, if, I mean, it, it's a floor drobe, so I can find whatever I want, and no one cares what it looks like. So. Yeah. I don't think I could get away with that. Maybe. <laughs> 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 I put away quite a lot of it yesterday because I woke up in the night to go to the toilet and nearly died on a coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's interesting though, because yeah, some people were saying they've gone the other way and it's gone super tidy, clean. It's, I, I mean, it's tidier than it was. There's just some things that have fallen off the end. So, I mean, you can see in the background, I've still got boxes and things, but I can sit in this room now. So that's progress. That's true. Can't yeah. use the hallway, but I can sit in here. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, so when everything went into lockdown and I started my food shopping everything that I would usually buy to make me healthy or keep me healthy wasn't in the shops mm. um, so I found that really hard so we started to just eat through what was in the freezer and obviously in the freezer is like leftover lasagna um, and things like that so it's just, it's just been lots of still like proper like nice home cooked meals just you yeah. know lots of tasty things like macaroni cheese and stuff but now now that the supermarkets have leveled out a bit and i've managed to find some of the things that i would usually eat um that'll that'll be a bit easier and i've stopped doing the cake swap with my neighbor as well because it was just too much cake um doing a nice little cake swap way well yeah my, so my mate george lives down the road and his sister's back from uni so she's okay. staying with him um and we we were just making cakes and then leaving packages for each other on each other's doorsteps and like knocking That's and running lovely. away. Um, so we yeah we did that for a really long time and we started to just do it with beer now. Um, yeah, equally healthy. Yeah, ordering <laughs> ordering like craft beer and then leaving it on each other's doorstep, um, which is fun. Yeah, community okay. spirit. You can leave that on my doorstep as well if you like, Abby. Well, I did think that I could, I could come and sit on your stairs, Tom, and we could maybe have a beer. Yeah, a social distancing beer. Yeah. Social yeah. Distancing yeah. beer. And may, maybe you could play some guitar and I could play some singing. Yeah, that sounds good. Just yeah. for well, five, ten minutes or, or so. Or some sax. No, I'm not, I'm not carrying a saxophone over the drum <laughs> I can carry my voice well easy. That's, that's light. That's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Um, so I found that really hard. Things that I found yeah. easier are things like having time to actually tidy my house. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, like I, I hate housework, but I don't actually mind doing it at the moment because that's something to do in it. Um, so, yeah, making sure that I, I help because Kenny does a lot of the cleaning, bless him. I've been um, yeah, making sure that I've been doing my fair share, which has been quite good. And it means, that, yeah, so I've. I've I found that easier and I found mm. exercise harder. Those are probably my two things. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. That was a, another question as well. I was talking about like, yeah, it has your exercise or food eating habits changed, wasn't it? Massively. I think that's something we're going to talk about. Um, yeah, massively. I think mine's possibly gone better. 
has it. Yeah, just because yeah. I'm not, because like when, when you're sort of driving out to places, sometimes you forget to pack lunch or whatever, so you just buy something from the shop and it's just not healthy. Or you, you get things and then... Um, you sat down the other day, yeah. Yeah, whereas I think now, just sort of being at home, like you say, you've got a bit more time to mm. cook stuff. Um, yeah, and you're not necessarily eating rubbish. I've, I've, um, I, I said the other day, I've stopped kind of lunch for some reason. So I do breakfast and I do dinner, although I haven't had breakfast today. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and I've started, like, obviously cooking massive meals still. So I've eaten probably fresher, less processed food. Yeah. I don't know. It's strange. I feel quite different. Um, yeah. Is it yeah. the headband? That helps. Mm. And it makes me faster. <laughs> I think it does, yeah. Mm. Generally. Anyone else found, I don't know, either any of those things, things difficult? Joe, go on. Um, as I said earlier, probably the routine <laughs> of just being at home was quite hard at the start, but mm. got better. And then the easiest thing was um, probably doing, like, because um, trying to save a bit of our food, because normally we <laughs> have, a, like, a second helping, but obviously can't go to shops as much. So when we do do quite a big meal, if it's, like, soup or something, and we don't want a little bit more, we we just put it in the fridge for the next day. So it's a little bit boring that we're having the same food over and over again. Mm. But then it's quite nice because like we've got food already. And yeah. You just yeah. have to warm it up or something like that, really. I think that's quite nice, isn't it, actually? Becoming a bit more thrifty with stuff, like not eating, like say, masses if you don't need to. I guess that's what people would have done years ago, isn't it? Yeah, like but things also getting convenient. creative as well. Cause, well, because there's limited stuff in shops, yeah. isn't there? People are having to get creative and um, and eat nif- like different things. We, we've been getting a Riverford box delivery every week. Mm. Um, and there's some stuff that I, I gave to Abby because I was like, oh, we've just got like a million courgettes and Swiss chard and I don't really, I'm the only one that eats it. Kenny won't eat that. So I gave it to Abby and she made like some amazing food with it. Um... But yeah, it's, I think I think that's part of it as well. It's getting like what you actually have access to, and then thinking, oh, okay, what can I what can I do with that? Yeah. It's been quite fun. Have you have you done that too, Joe? Um, we haven't done that as much with like trying to find because we have a veg box, but probably our, I think our veg box is stopped. So obviously we have to get our veg from downtown in Crediton or from the supermarket. So that's been quite good because in a way, um, when we go downtown to the supermarket, um, no, I mean not supermarket, down to uh, Green. Is it four produce. seasons? Uh, yeah, mm. it, there's more veg because obviously not many people are going to go into like a little grocery shop as much. So mum's been getting stuff that we need, which is good yeah. actually. And also, and, and hopefully most of that stuff might be more fresh as well. Yeah, totally. It might be local, or more local anyway. Yeah. yeah. It'd be nice if that was more of a trend. Like, if, if, I don't know if that will start to happen once lockdown's yeah, over. Um, because I bought stuff as if I was going to continue feeding lots of people, um, I have a lot of food that's fresh, so having to make whatever I can with what's about to go out of date is like a nice challenge. So like the curry tom that we did yesterday, mm. I did, what did I do? Aubergine, spinach, potato, carrot, carrot chilli, coconut milk, ginger, and chilli flakes as well in like a curry. So it was like a, a strange kind of, it worked. I mean, it was really nice. It was like That's a Rogan amazing. Josh kind of thing. Yeah, it looked delicious. But um. It's, they're not. I wouldn't normally put an aubergine in a curry. That's that's. I think that's a bit strange. Um, Is it all right? Did it work? Yeah, real good. Actually, real good. Um, the only thing that didn't work so well is I had rice noodles and I um. Ooh. I uh, didn't really cook them. <laughs> <I just laughs> <laughs> you had like crispy, 
<laughs> yeah, got impatient and had raw noodles. Oh, no. Um, and there's some of the stuff, I, I cook a lot of Italian and Greek food, so some of the pasta stuff that I made has been quite different. Um, and I've got vast amounts of peanut butter, so I'm kind of making everything with peanut butter. I say. Kim, yeah. What have you found easier or harder? Well, the, my college is really, my college is very, very easy. And uh, look, the work, maths, and English. It's very hard because yeah, I really can't. I really can't write. I can. I really can't to. I really can't to. Uh, I can type. I can't do time. I can. But this is very hard. What well, because? What well, because? What well, because? Very hard because really can't really do it because it's really hard with maths and counting. Very hard and it's really hard it's it's, stuff. Do you find it harder being at home than, because I'm guessing it's the same sort of work that you do if you were at college, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So are you, in, yeah. In, are you, do you find learning about maths more difficult at home or di more difficult at college? Yeah, both. At, both? At oh, fair enough. So it's kind of the same? Yeah, same. Oh, okay. Okay. What do you think? Have you changed your eating or anything or your exercise? Because I know you were going to the gym quite a lot, weren't you, Kia? I did, but now it's too late. I can't go. Yeah. So, what are you doing instead? I'm staying at home because I'm what I'm doing because I'm doing dance in here. The, are you? I'm copying to um, the cats, the musical. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. I do dance with cats. I did. I did do um, I do really a street dance too. too. Some street dance. I like it so much. And isn't that, you're just doing that at home in your in that room. Um, in a, in lounge in the fireplace. Yeah. Oh, cool. So you're keeping active then. Yeah, that's good. Abby, anything you found more difficult? Anything you found easier, harder? more difficult probably the eating healthier yeah oh because you, you started doing your um vegetarian stuff didn't you as well yeah tom what about you anything harder easier um i find it a lot harder to go outside nowadays like, yeah just getting out the front door like i although i did go out and like walk down to the seafront the other day which was quite nice like once i get out it's not too bad it's just I guess like an anxiety of being outside after being stuck indoors for like three or four weeks. Yeah, it's like so, the build up beforehand. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it could be like just like anticipation and anxiety yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. I was say, is it, is it anything you're thinking about before going out? Mm, or no, not really. Um, it's just it's like the the like the experience of being outdoors. I guess in the moment, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like it's, as, as opposed to like thinking too much about it, just the actually being there is a bit nerve wracking after being yeah. inside for a couple of weeks. Just like a feeling that comes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's some, I suppose we talked about that last week, didn't we? Slightly, mm. but like about people feeling. Yeah, it might be a bit odd once everything's over, like going back to seeing lots of people. Mm. But you were saying before as well. Actually, you feel a bit more confident, like talking, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it's, yeah. In like, as opposed to being in person, like it's a lot easier because you haven't got the whole sort of physical thing of us, other people, like loads of people being in the same room as you, and you're in your own space as well, which is really nice. Yeah, has anyone else found that? I don't know. You started doing more online stuff. It's easier to talk to people. No, I I prefer talking to people. Definitely more. I guess it's, I guess it's been fine because obviously, I uh, I don't know if you know this, but um, my dad's mum and dad um, live in um, France, so it's okay. fine for them because obviously we do do a video chat. But the sad yeah. thing was we were, I think it was in May actually. Um, yeah, the May half time we were going go over there and see them but obviously we can't now so mm. a bit so we won't see them for a while 
and they don't normally come over anymore, so wow. that's been hard. Yeah, but you still get to talk to them. Yeah. Virtually. I guess it's mainly more like my family and friends, like actually in Devon. One thing that's quite nice though is that we've managed to get more different people in to the different sessions that we've been doing. Yeah, that's been cool. yeah, like like Ian. And Kia doesn't normally yeah, come totally. to these sessions, right? Yeah. Which is really good. Ian, have you been doing much online talking to people like this? I've been um, using WhatsApp and talking to our volunteer coordinator and my volunteer. Has that been quite nice? Yeah. Well, cool. One of the things that I've found quite interesting is um, my, my brother's in New Zealand, hmm. which um, uh, feels like quite a long way away. But now the way I communicate with him is the same as the way I communicate with everyone else. Instead of everyone else feeling further away all the time, he feels closer. That's nice. Um, that's very nice. Yes, yeah, so that's that's kind of strange. Yeah. And personally, I prefer first to face, face to face. Yeah. Um, I I like just ate quite a lot, and if I'm sat here, then I'd, I'm not because I'm just sat. Um, and also, well, you can't even see my hands. Um, and also. <laughs> I can just uh, imagine you underneath doing all of this. I am. <laughs> um, and uh, the other thing is, uh, and obviously it's gone wrong a couple of times, I, I swear quite a lot. And um, I've got used to muting and being on my own and whatever, and that's definitely made my language a lot worse. So one of the things that I'm worried about is when um, we go back to normal, having to put that filter back in again. <laughs> and, and in fact, probably needing to find that filter already now. So um, <laughs> yeah, just re, re, like social etiquette stuff. I think that would be interesting on a, a wider scale, wouldn't it, actually? I wonder whether people's attitudes towards other people have, have changed slightly for the better or for the worse, I yeah. don't know. Because yeah, I suppose people, I don't know, have started maybe like knocking on people's doors or seeing if other people need help with things which is quite yeah. nice sense of community in one yeah. sense yeah but then in the other sense people are scared of groups of people yeah <laughs> yeah so like, I, I don't know it'd be interesting to see what happens oh i'd quite like to find out so obviously we're all wearing face masks and covering our faces having our country been a bit xenophobic and um not being as a country i guess fan of people with different beliefs who cover their faces as it is so it'll be interesting to find out how that changes because now we're encouraged to cover our faces and whether that will have a legacy in which um people doing it for cultural or religious reasons are less shunned by the wider public or yeah. if that's something that we embrace as a culture now and it becomes something that's socially normal rather than considered different well maybe some people will and some people won't mm. i've quite enjoyed not that fashion not existing i like that a lot I, you know, cool. wearing a headband, a poncho, and boxer shorts, and that being the most popular outfit in my house is, is, is quite nice. Abby, you were going to say something a minute ago, I think. Me? I was going to yeah. say, um, I, I hate not seeing people and talking to people face to face. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy on my own. I can entertain myself for hours and hours and hours. But when I have human interaction, I... I pick up a lot of like body language and things like that. So when I can't see people's body language or eye contact, mm. um, that um, that makes me think that everything's really negative all the time. Yeah. Um, so I um, like when I read text messages or when I talk to people on the phone, okay. it's really hard because I can't have that extra conversation with their body language. Mm. If that makes any sense. It's quite no. complicated. No, um, totally. And it's hard to read intonation, isn't it? Yeah, so I've been taking things probably a bit more to heart than I usually would. I've probably been a bit more sensitive. Um, just because I, I don't understand people. <laughs> Which, you know, that's... Yeah, I, that's, I found that so hard, not being able to understand people yeah. the way oh. that I usually would. I wonder if that's going to make us a bit more empathetic towards people. Um, all right, one final one. What are you looking forward to doing? when this is all over um and has this whole experience changed what you think is important to you or to your life Kia, go on. well well i think the butcher is like go to um 
go live in city or go and live in, in or live outside like in Hardcom or Devon or Portland something and the same again because I want to go I want to live one day I want to live I want to live in America one day I want to live in I love to live in uh, in uh, New York City one day. Okay. So is it like people will want to go and do the things they've always wanted to do? So like if you wanted to I don't know, go live somewhere, then you yeah. would maybe do it because now you, you, you're stuck at home and you can't do anything. Yeah. So when this is all finished, people might go and do the things they want to. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not happen. I want to see my friends. I want to happen to her dance again, singing. Uh, I, I want to go to X drama because I miss it so much. I need hurts, yeah. Okay. In a big show in, in, uh, in uh, London, West End. Oh yeah, okay. you said, yeah. So that's wicked. So yeah. you've got loads of things to look forward to. Lots of things I do. And dance, and uh, clubs, I got snap, and uh, sometimes Fridays got swimming, and yeah. chips, we're built. Yeah, yeah, lots of stuff. Yeah. Sounds great. Cool. So it's all very positive for the future. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, Joe, you're going to say something. I was going to say that, like, I'm looking forward to seeing family in Friends again, because obviously I haven't seen my um, grandparents for a long time, so that's been quite hard. And also, it's probably been more hard for my mum, because um, she's been, um, obvious, uh, she's been working at school, so sometimes she can't, like she sometimes she wants to go and help them, but obviously she's been in a school where it could have happened. Yeah. Obviously she can't see them, so that's been quite sad. Uh, but also not seeing my brother because um knowingly his um boss didn't um like um finish saying to stop work until like it was too late really. So he, he's stuck in Brighton. So that's a bit annoying. Oh, okay. So yeah, but but then the good thing is he's he's still working, which mm -hmm. is good for him, I guess. Yeah. He has still something to do. And then I think that's it really. Just not seeing family and friends. Yeah. So it's made you realise that they're, they're quite important to you. Normal stuff really, because obviously I would be I would be taking my GCSE English this year and other other um, exams and can't really do that now but fingers crossed oh, yeah. for August because they're like doing probably something in my favour by um, yeah. doing all like the um, marking by assessments and stuff and mocks so hopefully that goes my way yeah, yeah. hopefully they, they look at your predicted don't they and then yeah. the teacher makes an assessment mm. as to whether or not you would have got yourself up to that I yeah. think that's really interesting. If yeah. my GCSEs were only done on my predicted grades, I wouldn't have any. No, I wouldn't. That'd be cool. Joe, some of your stuff's really interesting because of the age you are and where you are, like in education, the way that you've been impacted is totally different to most of the people I know. Yeah. Yeah. I guess also, but luckily, I've, um, I'm going to Bicton next year, so, but luckily I've done like all the interview and stuff, but let's just hope I'm, I'll be going there still. Yeah. 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 Because you just don't know how how long this is gonna go on for. No. And how it's gonna impact your life mm. in the future. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm looking forward to going surfing. By the way. Oh, uh, that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I've not been for ages, and it's just the fact that I can't go that's making me miss it more. Like surfing, cycling. Um, I want to go to the woods, I want to go to the moors, just like outdoor stuff. Yeah. But I already wanted to buy a van and live in a van for a bit. I'm really glad that I didn't, because living in a van right now would suck. Um, but, but then I, you can travel to places. But I can't, because it's not essential travel. I'll just have to park. Yeah. So I'll be stuck in a van and not allowed to move. That would be rubbish. Yeah. It's essentially what my brother's done. <laughs> but um, I am... Um, really would like to go adventuring and just go and check out stuff mm. just because that's what happens and obviously friends seeing seeing friends face to face and just doing silly stuff like 
I'd quite like to go on a trampoline and I, I've never really had a craving to go on a trampoline, but just the fact that they exist and I can't go on one is bothering me. Just And swimming as well, just like stupid little things. Abby? I was, I was going to ask Ian what he's looking forward to. Yeah, me too. When, when this is all over, yes. yeah. Um, yeah. are you looking forward to going back to swimming and to the shop? Has it made you think about what, what's important to you? Yes, seeing my family and friends. Anything you're looking forward to, Tom? Going to the pub again. <laughs> Having a, a, a pint in the pub, like, especially when it's really nice. It's nice to sit like by the riverside in Timmouth and just have yeah. a glass of cider on a Sunday afternoon or something. Just... You know what, Tom? I'm missing Topsham Brewery. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that too, that too. Oh. It's just like simple things like that and like go just sitting in a cafe and having a coffee and that sort of yeah. thing. A little book. Yeah. Or something awesome. Yeah. That and is like, one thing I am missing. Um, working at the climbing centre. Oh, yeah, climbing. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, but the good thing is I've been furloughed, which is good in a way. Oh, cool. Okay. That's so cool. I, I didn't know that I was going to get paid for it. So that's cool. Been quite good. So hopefully I'll get paid for the months I would have been working. Abby. I'm looking forward to um having having a drink and dancing in the sunshine to live music with loads of sweaty people around me. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite thing. Yeah. Love it. Good dancing fun, isn't it? in the sunshine with like a drink, yes. live music. Shy effects. Lots of people. Oh yeah. Specifically yeah. shy effects. Just shy effects. Shy <laughs> effects. That in the sunshine <laughs> with a beer is magic, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and what are you looking forward to? Being able to hug people. I want to give you a massive hug. Uh, <laughs> Emma, what about you? Seeing a boyfriend. Rebecca, I want to hear what you're most looking forward to. Probably seeing you guys. And also my boyfriend can actually come round to my place. Yeah. Oh, I've got one more question that I think is really important. Has being at home changed your view on what is important to you? No. She says what's important to her is her chicken and her boyfriend and her mum and dad. What about you, Sam? Has um, being at home changed your views on what is important to you? Yeah, I mean, just kind of, just in general, life was was hectic. I mean, life is hectic anyway. Um, but just kind of having that time at home, just to kind of actually respend it with the kids has been quite nice. Um, Cause it's been a pretty full on couple of years, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no, not necessarily. We have managed to go and do things and actually spend some good, good time out you know, yard and and at home and, and just chilling. So yeah, that's been good. That's good. Been nice. And what what is important to you? Family, friends. Yeah. That's good. What about you, Rebecca? Yeah, I'll probably agree with Sam and Emma, but being with family, friends, like I missed, like you guys. Yeah. Especially and that... my boys, mm -hmm. especially my boyfriend as well. Yeah. I think, and... I think as well, what's, what's important to me is just seeing people face to face and having a conversation. And that first that... hug, that first hug oh. is going to be great. Mm. And I, I don't even like hugs. Yeah, I love a hug. I'm a very yeah. tactile, huggy, touchy person. Ugh. Really, I miss it. Mm. Can we have like can that, our first like Friday session or Tuesday session when we're back? Yes, a big hug. Can that be like the first thing on the agenda? Like massive group <laughs> hug. <laughs> I'm
Thank you.